in this video, I'm going to put this brand new Santa Cruz Heckler SL on our test course and tell you how fast it is. This is the true where the rubber meets the road, you know, the kind of the top gear test track. How much faster really is it? And that will help you decide if it's enough power for you. Can you uh, supplement your normal rides? Can you keep up with your full powered friends? All right, I'm gonna cut to the chase and give you the times right away. And then I'm gonna do a deep dive for those who wanna hang on to it. We are gonna start out with the results of the climbing test and then we're gonna give you a lot of riding impressions. So right here, it is in the middle of the list, the Santa Cruz Heckler SL climbed it in a time of six minutes and 52 seconds. And that is quite good, much faster than the Trek Fuel EXE and the range the expected range we got since it only used nine percent of battery is about 5500 feet of climbing uh, so in in our test course so you can compare that to the fuel exe at 3300 and the levo sl at 3500 so you are going to have quite a bit more range than those two compared to the levo that's at 6200 feet on our test so you're not going to keep up with the range unless you have an extender which is not quite available yet but the climbing on this is very torquey and very quiet so now we're going to talk about the descending ability of this bike and how remarkable it is from the get-go it's like an old friend i railed that first corner did that first jump this thing is like butter bike like this so responsive so supple and you'll see me boost these jumps it's so easy for for uh, for me and my videographer to like backside all the jumps today uh, because the bike it just it just pops so really cool to have uh the weight is 42 pounds with pedals on the high end and maybe a little more probably 45 you'll, you'll hit 45 pounds on the on the 7300 model so very cool the geometry itself we have about a 77 uh, seat angle right here and a um, 64 uh, head angle. So even though it's a trail bike, very aggressive geometry, that's on the low setting of the flip chip. 460 reach on the medium. This one is a large, uh, it the about 478 on the reach. And I've been riding, a, I've been riding a large all afternoon. Not a problem. That's the cool thing about bikes is I still have this much dropper and this is a large, uh, this is a 170 or a 180. Uh, I just have more reach. So I just have to move around more. So very adaptable, uh, these new bikes. So even though you're classic large or classic medium, pay attention to the reach, because that you could, you could choose the bike style that you want. So now let's take you for a ride and you'll see how exciting and how easy to ride this thing is. Oh yeah, this bike is like butter. Little jump. Oh yeah, that's mid power bike right there. Okay, you just jump higher. Another jump. Woo! As I gather my thoughts on this bike, it does climb really well. The motor is very supportive, very quiet, unobtrusive. You don't feel like you have an e-bike and in descending as well. It is so easy to ride. I often say you need five rides to get used to a 55 pound e-bike. This one, it feels very natural uh, from day one. So that's its big advantage. The Santa Cruz Heckler SL has a decent price point as well at $7,300. The components are not amazing, but it gets you started and you can upgrade from there. So you know at the end of the day as i compared this to a lot of full powered e-bikes and about five other mid-powered e-bikes i said wow you know i'd probably buy this bike you know if i had to choose one right now it is so attractive and it's so easy to ride it had a decent price point this is probably the one i choose so i think you would you won't be making a mistake if you got this santa cruz this is their best e-bike in my opinion because it is you know top 
top three compared to the competition. There was some doubt about the Fatsuo Ride 60 about its reliability, but sometimes it pays not to be first because when you're first in this technology, like the transition and the shuttle SL, you, you, you're part of the, the problem solving of, of uh, first generation issues. So this one is quite mature and I think Santa Cruz throttled down a little bit, didn't go for too much power. So you're getting uh, in the sweet spot of the motor and you're getting pretty darn good range. So the only thing missing is the extender battery. We hope that is released in 2024. But man, I think Santa Cruz is on the right path. They have a very subtle, a supple ride quality and you know it it's packaged in the Santa Cruz way where it's just dialed uh, you know in all the finish the design and whatnot so I have no doubt I can recommend this bike uh, to you folks the the Heckler SL and uh, I think you'll be happy with it thanks a ton